uh, the most successful thing that they've done is somehow connect this fake racism with health care or with anything on President Obama's agenda. And unfortunately, little there's buzzwords like racism, like change, like transforming, like white people, white people somehow now being in a secondary position, which everyone knows that's wrong. They should always be in the primary position and other, I mean. And then reparations, rep wouldn't John Conyers like die and go to heaven if he knew that Barack Obama was even thinking <laughs> of the word reparations? <sighs> well, uh, Henry Louis Gates is opposed to reparations. His lawyer is one of the leading crusaders for, but put that, you know, what Rick said and what you said, Nancy, I mean, to hear someone disparage the word community organizer brings me back to Palin time at the end of the McCain-Palin campaign when she would travel the country stoking hatred in crowds, talking about real Americans. Mm -hmm. And like Rick, I'm wary of the word fascist. I do think these are American fascists, and we've seen them at different times in our histories. Father Coughlin, mm -hmm. the radio demagogues of that era. What scares me is we are entering a in a period and entering a deeper period of economic pain and where this kind of murky fog media race baiting, anger baiting intersects with the economic pain is still unclear, but very scary. <laughs>